Friday here, and Michael Cook's here. He's got some cheap tickets for you here on National Cinema Day, which is this oh, Saturday, right? Yes, correct. Three dollars to get into the theaters. So we got a couple of movies here for uh, for your for our uh, enjoyment. We have Honk for Jesus and Samaritan with Sylvester. Can he say Sylvester Stallone after saying Samaritan? <laughs> let's uh, let's start off with Honk. For, it's, called, it's called Honk for Jesus, Save Your Soul. Is oh, the boy. full title. It star, stars. Uh, Regina Hall and Sterling K. Brown. Uh, Sterling K. Brown is the pastor of a southern megachurch that had 26,000 members. Of course, it had 26,000 members, but then Brown's character gets caught up in a sex scandal that now this massive megachurch only has five members left. Oh, That's all that is wow. left. And uh, he and his wife, Regina Hall, are trying to make a comeback. Uh, so they bring in a, a documentary crew who kind of follows them around through their lives as they try to reopen this church, try to, you know, uh, make their comeback into the world of mega churches. Uh, this film is a satire on uh, many or so, uh, some of the southern mega churches with a lot of ostentatious materialism, the cars and the suits and the uh, things of that nature. Sterling K. Brown and Regina Hall have good chemistry and both have top-notch comedic chops uh, in, in, of course, this movie. There's a lot of good insights. If you grew up uh, like I did in the Southern Church, you, 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 you recognize certain themes and certain going There's on. certain lingos, huh? Yeah, yeah when, when somebody says, bless your heart, you know exactly what they're actually mm -hmm. saying in this kind of film. The movie, though, is a little bit uneven. Uh, it's supposed to be a satire, and with satire, you're supposed to laugh, and unfortunately, there's just not enough laughs in this movie. But Regina Hall, her, she is just hilarious, though, in this film, and at the end, she has a dramatic moment that just will leave you gasping on how just uh, vulnerable and raw she is. But all in all, this is a uh, uneven film that doesn't quite work sometimes, but at other times it does. I did enjoy it, which is why I give it a seven and a half out of ten. Wow, okay. So, pretty decent so film. You gave it a little grace, uh, I see. A little grace, exactly. A <laughs> okay. little, little, little bit of churches. Uh, so, let's talk about Samaritan next. This is a new film that recently premiered on Amazon Prime. It's free there. Stars Sylvester Stallone. He's a garbage man. Lives next door to a 13-year-old boy who is convinced that Sylvester Stallone's character is a uh, long thought dead superhero called Samaritan that 20 something years prior he died fighting an, an evil superhero uh, but this young boy is just convinced that Stone is the, the man that was once the great superhero. This movie, it's set in the fictional world of Granite City, and of course there is, anytime you have a superhero, of course there is a villain. Okay. Uh, a, a young, uh, a man who's uh, from, the, from the Game of Thrones uh, movies, Pilo Sabak, I think his name was, who wants to be the new nemesis of Samaritan. This movie, uh, you know, it's good to see Sylvester Stallone in action flicks. Of course, he's done a lot of those uh, over the years. It's kind of, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you know, in terms of Rocky and Rambo and oh, all those. Never heard of those. <laughs> never heard of those. Those <laughs> small little films. So it's good to see him back. You know, he, br he brings in, you know, automatic uh, goodwill into any movie he does. This movie, though, was just just bland and oh, boring. Oh, man. Uh, you know, some of the action scenes were just uh, okay. There's a couple scenes where the CGI, there's, uh, toward the end of the film, they're in a, a burning building, and it's like, this is a green screen. I mean, you can clearly oh, that see. Bad, huh? it's that That's not a burning building. And the villain's motivations are kind of silly. He wants to take over Granite City, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's not particularly that well done of a film. I was disappointed in this movie, which is why I give it a five and a half out of wow. Wow. Okay. So it's like, eh, you know, it, maybe if you're just a die-hard superhero film and you know want to see some action, might be the one for you. But I'd skip it. Because there isn't another one. <laughs> they, they, they were hoping to, but they, they probably should quit while they're ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So